have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. Welcome to the vlog. vlog! My name is Angel. I'm Gavin. If you're new to our channel, hi, welcome. We're actually starting the video here in our living room, so it's pretty gloomy outside. Christmas is gone from the apartment, like any other winter type weekend in Toronto. It is kind of ugly outside, and it's cold, it's wet, it's snowing, it's raining. So today, we are just kind of feeling like those winter blue. We're gonna probably have like a very lazy day. As you can see, we kind of already have taken down our Christmas decorations. What is it? It's like going into the second week or third week of January? Second week. Second week of January. Yeah, so it's like, it's about time uh, to take those down. Honestly, the apartment feels very new again because it's just like, I'm not tripping over things as I walk around, so that's very nice. Uh, I feel like more light's coming in through the windows again because I guess that tree was actually blocking quite a bit of light. Yeah, we might stay home. Uh, this weekend will be very much like, all right, let's watch Singles in Inferno, let's finish that. So yesterday we actually went engagement shopping. The past couple of days we've been looking at concise and like different options of how you can customize a ring mm -hmm. uh, for like a decent price, not like some of the rings we saw yesterday were like, 9,000. 9, 9,000. One 30, was like 30,000. Yeah. Like Maybe we'll shop around with you guys and see what we like. That's pretty much this weekend. We'll just enjoy our day. We'll pop in later on. Bye, you guys. Bye, oh. fine, yeah. Okay, we're back. Started watching Superstore. It was the Halloween episode in season three, which was hilarious. <laughs> Singles Inferno. So good. The ending was so nice, except for a few. So, just for fun, we're just gonna take a look at like engagement rings with you guys. Hmm. I love looking at engagement rings. Yeah, she does all the time. Where is it? I think she's trying to leave like a hint. <laughs> <laughs> We're basically looking at different websites for engagement rings. So there's James Allen, Blue Nile, and Bruin Earth. And I felt like for me, in general, kind of like the Bruin Earth better because they're more sustainable. Hope friendly, plus if you spend over a thousand dollars, you get a necklace for free. That's a bonus for you guys at the. Yeah, and also the thing is with engagement ring, I feel like it's more cheaper to buy online rather than getting it in the store. But it seems to be switching probably more so with the pandemic because it's just like, okay, well, you don't have to pay people to be at the store. Mm -hmm. You don't have to pay for the location. Mm -hmm. So then it's just more cost efficient to have it as an online yeah. site. Honestly, with technology now, you can like build the ring from scratch. You choose your setting, you choose your cut, you choose the uh, color grade. It will show you a example of what it would actually look like. yellow gold i know that i don't know about you guys but i really prefer something that's like simple mm. so i don't want any diamonds on this setting setting is like the band itself uh. i would recommend just filter it to like the lowest price because we don't want to spend so much money okay let's use this one i want more. So I'm doing lab diamonds because it's more eco, like ecologically friendly. And Angel kind of agrees with that. At the end of the day, it's, it's rock. Diamonds have just gotten the price because like back in the day they were harder to find. But now we can actually make them, so I don't see why they're so crazy expensive. Yeah, I know you, you like kind of a simple look. So, yellow gold. Okay, let's use this one. This one. Choose the setting. Oh, choose the setting. Okay. This kind of talks about the quality of it. The farther you are over here, like J, this is going to have some like, color variations where it's going to look maybe a little bit more yellow. Or you come over here towards D, the more white it's going to look. So I think overall, like being G and D, or G and up, potentially maybe even F and up is good. This is the clarity. So this is like talking about the imperfections in it. So the farther you are to the left, I believe that is, you're gonna find like, even just like looking at it through your eye, you're gonna see more um, debris in it type of a thing. Yeah, like right here, you can see more of this stuff in, uh, in the diamond. But when you go more over here, 
see you can see it dramatically lessen and when you go over here all the way to the end it's a perfect clarity so there's going to be like no little specks mm -hmm. inside of it but not to say like these ones aren't good because these ones like kind of over here uh, with the naked eye you probably won't notice it yes. like you'd have to really look or like have like a, one of those like little fancy little eye yeah. microscope type things to be able to see it and I feel like having like some imperfections on your rim just gives it more character so I feel like I just don't want it like to be very very clear mm -hmm. also please bear in mind we're not a ring expert at all this one is uh, the different the cut so when you go to fair cut um, this is kind of talking about like how much when you're in love will it actually reflect you want more of a reflective ring from what I've seen you're looking more for like ideal and super ideal that's gonna get like the most kind of light but bouncing it's more off of thicker. it yeah it's thicker and will be taller and then you go more over to the left which is kind of more of what Angel wants but not necessarily like, super flat but then your ring is just gonna look naturally darker just because it's more compressed mm -hmm. and it won't reflect light as much so mm -hmm. for the moment I'm gonna do kind of around very good to like super ideal. Also it's nice because by these little filters I can go down here and I can see the pricing, I can see how many carats it is, I can see the cut. You can click into it and kind of see the definitions so these ones are all kind of small. Uh, that's a super ideal so that's not like your favorite type of thing so I will where did that thing go? The cloud is on top this one. Plus you're like right there. Get up. <laughs> We're bumping into my elbow so much today. Oh my god. I need I need space. Like you don't even have the ring on, but you're suffocating. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm just fucking fucking Oh my god, it's more expensive. What the hell? Oh uh, yeah, the super Yeah, it's also from what we've seen yesterday, or at least like with this one, is the more you go to the left with the cut, the more expensive it gets. Which is super hard. So this is the price, but this is just for the diamond. This isn't including the band. The mm -hmm. band, we saw the price earlier. But these ones are good to see because it kind of shows you how they were like over fucked on it. This one's pretty. Mm. So like this one looks nice. You don't love it. Yeah, I don't like the scratches on it. It's bigger than the other ones we've looked at. This one is, as you can see, a 1.53 carat. One I built yesterday, I really liked. I think we still have like probably a picture of it. I'll have Angel put that up on the screen. This is kind of around the same size as the one that I found yesterday. Yeah. And yeah, you choose diamond. So this is kind of what it would look like in the end. And yeah, I like these. Angel kind of likes these two. The setup would look like. I'm not saying this is necessarily the one I would get, but it allows you to see visually what it will look like and you get like a little representation here on the hand and you get another one with the jeans just oh it's big yeah that's a big one but yeah I, I like that i like just having a bunch of visual like angel really slim. likes it yeah she likes it slim simple elegant like the, the main focus of it is literally the, the ring on top. And then down here you get your grand total of what the, what the setting and the uh, the diamond would cost. So the other nice thing with this is it really allows you to stick to a budget. So it's like, okay, if you want to spend 3000 if you want to spend 4000 or 5000 you can really go through it. And you can think about it. Yeah, you can think about it. You can like obviously do the filters to bring it down to something that's in your price point. but also to allow you to still find the same styles that you're actually looking for or if your partner has subtly hinted at what she's looking for <laughs> plus you can also get your male rings here engagement ring time on a lazy sunday with angel <laughs> and gavin so we're gonna continue our lazy day and we'll pop in later on mm. bye for now mm. So we just wanted to hmm. pop in. I'm actually writing from my journal. This is what I actually bought the other day, probably last week. I just love answering questions from this one. Mm. You should buy one. Yeah, I think it'll be one. And then we can compare. Yeah. Mm. We should do that like next week, I guess. Mm. Or I'll get you something on Saturday, so okay. you don't have to go. That sounds good. Adelia. Mm. So it's called the Me Journal. So you answer basically just questions every single day. 
just to keep your mind thinking. All Which the time. I think is important. Pretty late. Probably it's like 11 yeah. yeah. So we're just gonna say good night. <laughs> See you in the next video. Go long. Farewell. See you in the next vlog then. Mm. Thank you so much for watching, and I know it's pretty short, but hope you enjoy this video. Mm -hmm. See you next Friday. Bye. Bye. I'm just gonna film. No, stop it. <laughs>